guys, I'm Alejandra. And I'm Caroline. And today we're making peanut butter and jelly muffins. Peanut butter and jelly muffins are such a great after school snack. They remind me of the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches my mom used to make me when I was growing up. I think it's a nice little special treat. It's like for special occasions. Ooh, great. So what do we have here? All right, so lots of easy ingredients. Flour, salt, baking powder, sugar, milk, vanilla extract, an egg, some bee's knees peanut butter, and melted butter. So let's start out by getting those wet ingredients going. Um, I'm using a mixer, you can also do this by hand. I'm gonna put in this peanut butter. I warmed it up just a little bit just so it kind of flows in there nice and easily. Good start. Yeah, totally. And if in the meantime you wanna work on the dry ingredients. Oh, sure. Speed the process along here so we can get <laughs> to eating. Yes. So add some butter in there, our egg, vanilla, and the milk. So we're just gonna mix that all together. Start out slow so you don't get it on your cute dress and apron. <laughs> then you can speed it up. That's a cool way to help break up the peanut butter. Exactly, yeah. So then you get nicely, evenly distributed ingredients. All right, and so now we're just gonna add this flour in here and I just dump it all in. Baking powder, salt, sugar. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. And you just want to stir until everything is combined. Boom, done. Easy. Nice. So easy. So it's basically like a special cake, except with a lot less sugar. Oh, totally, yeah. And I like to use a little ice cream scoop to get my batter in there. I just think it makes it nice and quick and easy. Just sort of. And clean. And clean, yes. Yeah, just scoop it all in there. And that's why it's nice and even. So I'm just gonna keep filling these in and then they're gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes just until they're puffed up golden and perfect. So we got our muffins out of the oven. They baked up and they're still warm because now we wanna add the jelly because these are peanut butter and jelly muffins. You may have noticed there was no jelly in the batter. <laughs> so you wanna do it while they're still warm because this way the jelly can just kind of melt right onto the top. Ooh, It's just like the perfect combination. And it's nice and gooey too. Oh, kind yeah. Of so I'm using some uh, Rip Roaring Raspberry, which is really nice. It's my favorite. Um, but you can use whatever your favorite kind of jelly is with these muffins. So I see these nuts here. These are the perfect finishing touch for our peanut butter and jelly muffins. Just some chopped roasted salted peanuts right on top. Add a little extra peanut buttery flavor. And crunch too. And crunch. Such a great snack. So there you have it peanut butter and jelly muffins. Let's try these babies. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. We've got the peanut butter muffin, the jelly on top, it's that perfect peanut butter and jelly combination that we all love. It's really peanut buttery. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can really taste the bee's knees. It's really good with this. Yeah. We took an ordinary muffin recipe and added some salty peanut butter and some sweet raspberry jam to make something really special. What other classic baked goods would you like us to add some peanut butter to? Tell us in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked the recipe, and if you did, give us a thumbs up. Every week, we cook up a new peanut buttery dish, so make sure you follow the Peanut Butter and Company channel to catch them all. We'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, sorry. Now we're doing it. Um, okay, all right, now, for real. For real. <laughs> for real, for real. Okay, no, for real, for real. Um,